All right, looks like I'm live. Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. I'm going to really quickly, oop, still my computer's sound on, really quickly look over at my other screen, which I always do at the beginning, just to make sure that the stream is actually running for you all. And yep, I can see it, there we go. All right, Freezeite's already in the chat saying you feel Lesotho will make a triumphant return. I really hope not, I don't love the Lesotho ones. Um, to recap, we are in, we've established, we're pretty sure we're in East Africa, I believe. Um, we're in some sort of national park with falls. I believe there are, there are waterfalls. If, if other people remember better than I do, please chime in. Um, yeah, yeah, we're, we know East Africa pretty much. And we are at the point where we we hit a basically a, a three-way stop in the road. Uh, and one direction, it, we were five miles from the falls. And we went there for five kilometers from the falls. We went there. There was nothing that really helped us. And in the other direction, we were 29 kilometers from a town. Uh, that's where we left off last time. We now have the 20 kilometers of clicking ahead of us. So, let's get moving. Just clicking through wherever this is. Just having a grand old time. And the webcam cut out for a second. That's fun. I love that. Love, love the old webcam. Freezeite saying, oh yeah, this one gonna suck. Yup, it was... I was getting excited for this this morning, and then I remembered where we last left off, and I was like, oh no. I don't want to click through dirt roads for 29 kilometers, but... Yup. Here we are. Uh, all right, I'm going to use the uh, the fun zoom method of just powering us through this dirt road as quick as we can. Uh, it's good, though. There's nothing to really... At the beginning of the streams, it takes people a few minutes to kind of trickle in. Uh, and uh, not really having anything to look at right now is good. Just, we can give people some time to make their way onto the stream and help us out when we see actual, like, stuff. A um, little bit of helpful information, though, that we did get from this last week, the little bit of information we got was that signs were in English. So we uh we know it's in we we know it's probably an English speaking country. But yeah. You know, that doesn't narrow it down a lot, especially with East Africa where we already think it is. And the webcam, there we go. <laughs> Love that. Love technology. If it does that too many times, I'll just switch camera. But I like having this one because it's the better angle. It's rather than looking over to the side to talk to the camera, it's just a quick glance up. And we just keep on going. Uh, 29 kilometers of this. It's going to be awesome. <sighs> Start road. I'd love to just randomly guess somewhere and get this done, but we're 314 countries deep, so we obviously can't do that. Gotta love that. Actually have to drive the 29 kilometers and find things. Uh... 
super interesting drive right now. I'm sure this is throwing content. Just keep on moving. We've seen nothing. Not a car. No signs other than at the lookout we were at. Also, yeah, if we saw a car, it wouldn't even help us with the side of the road it's on. Because, I mean, it seems like there's only one spot for a car to be driving on. Yeah, Freezeite's saying we know it's east or southern Africa. It narrows it, it, narrows it down somewhat. Yeah, but it... It comes to basically, you know, a dice roll on, you know, Uganda, Tanzania, Kenya, South Africa. I don't think it's Lesotho or Eswatini, but, I mean, what's that, like a one in four chance with our just nothingness? Keep on going. Uh, what's that? That seems interesting. Oh, just a little runoff spot. Freezeite saying, looks like the road was recently graded, so it's probably done in the slow tourist season, which doesn't help at all. Yeah, I... Yeah, the, the date of coverage isn't too helpful with this one. Or, like, the time of year isn't too helpful with this one. But we got a guy. Look at that. That's something. It, 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 it's not a helpful something, but... Ooh. So we could... Let's go this way, because there's a sign. This is good. Sambia River Lodge. Well, let's go there. Maybe there'll be something helpful for us there. Uh, let's go back and look at that. Ah, no, it's not much. This is very much the kind of... Uh, round where every little thing is helpful. Uh... Freeze out saying you'll see many mountains, probably not Rwanda. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. And I think Rwanda probably has better roads. Um, and English might be less prevalent there. I know it's an official language now, but... Um, yeah, you can see right here it says Something Falls National Park. Sambia River Lodge. I guess that's in there, so we can't really get to there. Uh, elephant Tusk Art. Good catch, Freezeite. I don't know what that means for us, though. At all. Let's go down to this bridge. Maybe there'll be... Oh, look, look, look. There's a sign with words on the other side. And it says the same thing. Yay! Love that. Alright, let's head on up. There's a whole lot of nothing. Yeah. Ill tired saying how many miles of open roads will I miss while reheating dinner? I don't even know. I, <laughs> I whatever you missed wasn't important. <laughs> there, there, no, there's nothing helpful. <laughs> Fruzite saying trees look very tropical, so you doubt Southern Africa. You're leaning more East Africa. Yeah, my guess is also East Africa. What happens if I do this? Okay, nothing. Uh, Iltard saying, wait, zoom back in on the shirts. Gladly. 
Let's go on back. Uh, okay. Got rock something contracting. A three nine two. I don't think that's a country code. Uh, yeah, I'm not getting much there. Is there something you see all tired? Hmm. I'm just gonna go ahead and zoom. Uh, watch this be the entire stream. Watch us just not find anything. Oh, uh, Tyler, just saying, no, you missed the text, rock something, and the 0390 something number. Yeah. It's. I don't think it would give us much anyway, honestly. It's just the name of a. a contractor. Ooh, we got some signs, though. Wait, this could be. This could be big. Uganda. It says Uganda. Y'all are seeing that, right? Yep. Uganda. Look at that. That wasn't that bad. That was easy. Freezeite sand. You notice Western clothes, not Islamic style, so it's probably Uganda. And yep, there you go. Awesome. Look at that. That was almost a major headache. But we got it. Awesome. Murchison Falls National Park. All right. We got that. We got the, the painful one out of the way. Now we're in Europe somewhere. Uh, and there's a Cyrillic alphabet. Uh, and, and also, big thing, is the addition of Kazakhstan to GeoGuessr the other day. So we need to... Uh, we need to just keep that in mind that Kazakhstan is now a possible country to get Cyrillic in. Uh, though I did some interesting reading, uh, trying to figure out, you know, some possible tells for Kazakhstan. Uh, and apparently a few years ago, it was, um, they passed a law trying to, saying they hope to switch from Cyrillic to the Latin alphabet by, I think, 2031. Uh, so that's... I, I don't have enough information about that to give it any adjective other than interesting, but very interesting. <laughs> I, you know, at, le at least in use of the, the Kazakh language. I know Russian is very widely spoke there, so I, I imagine Russian would maintain the Russian alphabet. Um, Iltired saying, are the new Kazakhstan additions retroactive to games started prior to last week? I don't know. That's the thing. I, I'm I, I'm erring on the side of caution, that we might get one, just because it you know, every time we go to a new round, it's going into whatever database and spitting out a new place. So I assume we'll we might get it. Christopher likes here. Good to see you in here, Christopher. Like we were just talking about uh, how Kazakhstan was added to Google Maps coverage and by extension. GeoGuessr this week hmm. talking about uh, potentially getting that because we're currently in a Cyrillic speaking country uh, I need to get close to a car try to look at a license plate or see the uh, the Ukrainian only Cyrillic calendar uh, calendar what am I thinking of letter I don't know why I was thinking of a calendar <laughs> Um, yeah. I was looking to see if there were any Kazakh-specific uh, letters, but it seems like the Kazakh Cyrillic is fairly different from Russian Cyrillic, but at the same time, I don't know either of them well enough to look at it and, and say, oh, this is obviously Kazakh Cyrillic. Uh, yeah. Cats, good to see you in the chat. Glad you're here. Uh, yeah, I can't really tell what's on that plate. I'm leaning toward Russia. I mean... No... No European blue on the plate. I'm not seeing a Ukrainian flag on the plate, but... 
uh, not not sure if I'd see it on that anyway. I don't see the the Kurg thing on the plate and the the Kazakh plates, which I sent a graphic of in the chat or in the Discord, uh, don't look like that. They seemed a bit extravagant, uh, not just plain white. But so yeah, I'm leaning Russia, but not sure. Uh, Iltard saying, worth it to learn the letters in Cyrillic doesn't take much time to recognize the letters and translate them into Latin. No, exactly. It it would not be a very time-consuming task. You could probably do it in a week. Um, I started it and then didn't continue. So I need to continue with that. Um... Oh, uh, yeah. Cats is asking about a copyright year. I'm looking around trying to find it. I don't see it. Um, okay, Christopher likes saying 2017 copyright. That could lean us toward Russia, I feel like. But yeah, with the, the Cyrillic. My problem with learning Cyrillic is that with Duolingo, I, I get very, like... Okay, that says Russ. I get... I. I'll one day decide, like, oh, I want to learn some of this now instead. And it's like, my, my languages learning list on Duolingo is, like, the entire page long. And it's just random stuff with, like, 100, 200 XP. Uh, because I'm indecisive. And should just focus on the stuff that I'm already half-decent at. And that I will actually use. <laughs> Uh, Katz is saying leading toward Russia too. This looks more l Luke. You going with Lush? Um. Yeah, I feel like it's saying R U S on that truck. Oh, Lush. Okay, cool, Katz. Yeah, I think with it saying R U S on that truck, that kind of did it for me. That could be a red herring. That could be a massive red herring. But the the license plates match it's saying Rus matches um that, that that is all the evidence i have but i like it i'm pretty confident in it hmm and this also it just feels like russia the i, I feel like we've bounced around these towns so many times just these these random Russian towns, and just kind of racked our brains about oh is it Russia is it Ukraine is it Russia is it Ukraine and it's you know eight times out of ten it's Russia, seven times out of ten it's Russia. Hmm. So we haven't seen anything that's screaming Ukraine at me. I don't know no I don't know if anyone else has. Uh, Frizzart saying the use of that particular shade of blue on buildings is a very Russian and Belarusian thing. That's very interesting. I didn't know that there was a shade of blue very specific to Russian and Belarusian buildings. Um, but, I mean, I'll take your word for it. Uh, Christopher Like saying, isn't Google banned in Russia? No idea. We have Street View in Russia. It's it's not recent because of um, certain events, but we we have coverage pre twenty twenty one. Freeze that saying like the roof of the house. Okay. I mean, if that's a very Russian thing, I'm happy to go for it. I'm I'm happy to go for Russia at this point if people think it's Russia. I'm I'm pretty sure in it. Uh yeah, yeah, Katz is saying this coverage before the Ukrainian war. Hmm. Kinda looked like there was a Russian flag in this yard, but I couldn't tell for certain. Also we're about to leave the town, it looks like. Let's just speed up getting out of here. So it looks like we might just be entering another town real quick. Which would be ideal. Some more things to look at. Or this is someone's driveway. 
This is someone's driveway. Yeah. We've hit the end. Um, yeah, I'm happy to do Russia because I don't want to turn all the way back. Uh, but if people aren't convinced, we can, we can go all the way back. Let's zoom back real quick. Trying to remember where we turned off at. Um, let's go down here. This is not going to be helpful. Uh, Freezeite saying my best guess is Russia. Katz is saying I say send Russia. There's nothing else much we could find. Yeah, I I agree. Um. I guess we do it. Uh. Anyone? Anyone object? I'm 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 just a little cautious, so I want to see if anyone is saying. Don't do it. Back on the... Uh, no. Still a small road. Here we go. Um, that's not a Ukrainian plate. That's not a Ukrainian plate. I think we're good. I think we do it. Awesome. Freezeite saying I would send Russia. Well, Russia was correct. So, we're good. 316. Here we go. This is this is a nice, easy one for us. Uh, yellow plates, both front and back. That's interesting. Looks like German on the front. Or Dutch, given that's a dot .nl uh, web domain. Oof, pardon me. Awkward burp. Uh, yep, Ill Tired saying NL. Katz is saying NL. Christopher Like is saying it. Let's do it. Awesome. Yeah, there was no question about that one. That's that's a free one. That's what we get for, for random middle of nowhere Cyrillic. Is we get Netherlands straight off the bat. Um, de Freudemont. So, French. Uh, it's not Switzerland, so it's probably Belgium or France. Um, I mean, could be Quebec, but it's not Quebec. That's not a Quebecois house. It's probably also the wrong way to be going if I'm looking for things. Um, here we go, we got some cyclists. What jersey are they wearing? They're wearing blue, that looks like the French, uh, rooster, chicken, hen. It very much looks like that, right there on their chest. Yeah, yeah, exactly, cats. Quebec is more similar to the U.S., like, Quebec doesn't look like this. They got a boat. That's cool. So, might be near the water. I mean, it's it's kind of screaming northern France right now. Yeah, Christopher, like, what could be more Western Europe than cows and bikes? Exactly. Poulet Francais. Yeah, just the, yeah, the, the arete stop signs. Okay, no, we're not going this way. <laughs> we're not going through the cornfield. Um, a whole lot of nothing. I guess we go this way. Chez Poulet is a legit chain KFC version in Quebec. That's hilarious. I didn't know about that. Uh, um, Rue de... If I try to pronounce that, it's going to sound Spanish, so I'm not going to. Uh, 
yeah, Rue de Froidmont again. It's it's screaming France. Like, it, it, it could be Belgium, but I feel like I saw the French rooster on the guy's jersey, and now I'm I'm sold on France. Uh, yeah, exactly, Freezeite. It, it very much could be Belgium. That's why I haven't full sent France yet. Yeah, it's Belgium. Well, great. Guess I, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Freezeite saying don't get tunnel vision. I completely got it. Um, but it's Belgium. We know that now. Any objections to Belgium? Or keep looking. Yep, Kat's saying Belgium it is. I'm down for that. <clears throat> Christopher likes saying, at least it's not as bad as Nando's. Worst chicken place ever. I don't think I've heard of anyone who doesn't like Nando's. I've only heard good reviews. Also, I want to guess it's like here-ish. Ah, okay. Well, I'm still convinced that person was wearing a French cycling jersey. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, well, that's English. We got some, some signs that aren't saying much. Hmm, Irish pub... Freezeite's in Kenya. I like that. Well, there's Lagos Ave, which makes me think Nigeria. That's... Ah... Uh, interesting. That's the Ghana flag. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I'm a little thrown. There's no follow car... Yeah, Katz is saying flag is Ghana. I mean that that could be the, the the Ghana embassy. What is that? What is this building? Yeah, yeah, I I agree with you, Freezeite. Let's keep looking. Although G T Bang, I imagine the G is probably oh no, it says right here it's it doesn't mean Ghana, it's something trust bank. Um, yeah, yeah, cats. I think we look for more definitive info. Um, and that shouldn't be hard. There's a lot of signs. We should be good. Yeah. There's, there's so much stuff to read. Uh, the Romania slash Chad flag in the window. That's an interesting one. Uh, no. Let's keep keep going, keep it moving. Is that? Yeah, I don't know. It's the bank where the Nigerian prince who wants to give you his millions keeps his money. <laughs> uh, Accra. That sounds close to Accra, in Ghana. Obviously not. A real evidence. <laughs> Bed Bath and Beyond. I didn't even notice that was a Bed Bath and Beyond. I just saw words that weren't a country and was like, nope. Uh, a bank. Lots of banks. Is there anything on this cab? While you la buy. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Freezeite saying if we have phone code 234 is Nigeria, 233 is Ghana. That's very helpful. Uh, a Turkish restaurant. That's cool. Uh, I've got a thing of Africa here. Get you first. Frozen food for family and friends. Um. Still nothing. I'm surprised we haven't seen the name of the country yet. Uh, 
Cat saying driving on right side, sir. Definitely in West Africa. Very good point. Good catch. I forget about that sometimes. Christopher likes saying must be in a capital city. That's a good point. So, probably Accra or Lagos. And given we don't have a follow car, I want to say Accra, but. I, we're on Lagos Avenue, so I don't know. Uh, okay, well that says Goldfield Explorations Ghana Limited. So that's pretty big. I'm gonna stay on this main road. Another Ghana flag. Okay, I think second Ghana flag and sign that says Ghana is pretty solid evidence. So I'm good to go Ghana at this point if other people are. Uh, yeah, yeah, it seems like yeah, Accra or Abduja. Kat's saying there is Gahan. I'm not sure what Gahan is. Uh, Kat's saying let's send Ghana. All right, let's do it. And that, yeah, that says something Ghana.com. We're good. We are very good. Let's do it. Freezeite saying Ghana now as well. We got it. Yep, Accra. Awesome. All right. Yeah, middle of nowhere. Love these. I just hope whatever language we find is in Latin. Latin alphabet. If we find Cyrillic, I'm going to lose my mind. Uh, oh, this is getting less and less hopeful. Uh, Freezeite saying Denmark. The, the, uh, I'm getting nervous. Doesn't say the, the name. Christopher Like, your cat's giving you the stare down. Why's your cat doing that? It's, uh, my dog's passed out. Uh, we're in Pilipki? Um, yeah, Freezeite, I did see the crosses. Those are Orthodox, right? Um, so if those are, yeah, the cross had the extra side at the bottom angle, Orthodox Christians, yes. Okay, so Eastern Europe, Latin alphabet. <clears throat> uh, Baltic, maybe? Freezeite saying Poland, maybe. Ethan Bruja saying, wasn't that the Polish town sign? Poland does use those. Uh, I'm not sure if they're exclusive to Poland, but I I, I have no idea. Uh, so they, they could be, but the name of the town didn't scream Polish at me. But I, I can see this being Poland. Uh, Freezeite saying Czechia, maybe. I can see that. Uh, the stork nest on the pole. That's cool. Is that a, is that a Czech thing? I haven't heard of that. Hmm. Ooh, we got some, some stuff over here. Uh, can't read it. Okay, you're saying, yeah, you don't know if it's a, a check thing. You're tired saying someone's having a baby. Uh, it's got a lot of people are having babies. Yeah, nothing too helpful. Love these ones. There's just no signs anywhere. There's just no language. Freeze out, you're saying you're leaning Lithuania now. I can get behind that. 2013 copyright is interesting. That is, that's fairly old. The MPO doesn't mean anything to me. Wait, 
let's go to the end of the street. See if we can... Oh, cool, it's done. Uh, yeah, we're leaving Pil... Pilipki. Freezeite sends storks like coastal areas, and the white birch needs very cold conditions, so Baltic works for you. That's a very... That's a very good... Uh... I don't want to call it a guess because it's very it's very educated guess. It's a very good educated guess. Flatland. Just not sure if it's Balkans. Balkans for Poland. Uh, okay, Christopher likes saying the stork thing could be Polish. Hmm. Okay, let's let's speed up this backtrack. Gonna zoom through here. All right. So that was a small town. And we couldn't leave it the other way, so let's go this way. Uh, yeah, Freezeite's saying we need country code or car plates. Or just, just more words. We have one word, and it's the name of the town. I mean, they like, it's just not a lot to go off of. We've just seen, we've seen generic houses and orthodox crosses and a guy on his bicycle. Uh, yeah, Pilipi. Uh, yeah, the the simple name of the town doesn't fit Poland. I agree. Like, this, not that this couldn't be Polish, but I feel like it's not. It it doesn't. There's not a bunch of Z's. There's not a bunch of Okay, there's there's structures over here though. Maybe this will be something good. No, no W's. There's only one K. No R's. That screams Polish. <laughs> um. Let's let's go into town. Yeah, that's. That's Polish. Yeah, as, as Freezeite's saying, that's better. And the webcam just did the fun thing again. Yeah, that, that town name. Definitely. I'm, I'm much more confident with Poland now. I wasn't thinking it was Poland before. Yeah, Katz is agreeing. Christopher Like is agreeing. Uh, and we're about to leave this town. Yep, Trez, cut. yeah, that that's that's Polish. I mean, anyone object to me guessing Poland at this point? Because we're just gonna keep going through towns like that. Freezeite saying send. Anyone else agree? Yep. One other person agreeing. I'll do it. Otherwise, we're going to click through the possibly Polish countryside for a while. Yep. Wait, Cats and Christopher like saying send. Let's do it. Awesome. Ooh. Very close to Belarus. I know everyone was thinking northern Poland, but it's... That's pretty inland. Awesome. Awesome. I have no idea. Think in South Asia. Uh, don't know anything else. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Freezeite's in tropics. Okay, there's there's stuff. I was afraid there wasn't going to be anything. Ooh, good point, Christopher. Like, sun. Uh, also, 2023 coverage. Sun is to the south? What? I can't really tell exactly where it is. Um, 
Good, good, good point. El tired right hand drive of Africa. I kind of like could be Brazil from Frieza. It's a good one. Like the dirt and the trees. That is to the south, right? Like, if I look north, no, that's that's the. There's there's too much. There's too much brightness from the sky. What what do y'all think that was? Do you think that was in the north or the south? Because I have no idea. Maybe get a language off this truck. Nope. Keep going. Here we go. Oh. Alright, so that's South India or Sri Lanka. So we don't have to look at the sun anymore. Um. Hmm. Read something on this building. Oh, that's it. I forgot about Thai. I forgot Thai exists. I just looked at that and was like, "Yep, that's um, that's South India or Sri Lanka. That get very well could be Thai. Very real. Where's Grapefruit Lover? We haven't seen Grapefruit Lover in a few weeks. It'd be uh, be great if they just joined right now." be very helpful that does look kind of tie um maybe oh no 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 Thailand drives on the left Thailand drives on the left so it's a good I believe hmm who is that saying could be Laos I think Laos has yellow plates, though. And these aren't yellow. Hmm. Oop. Hmm. We need more stuff. Freezeite taking a, a break. All good. Um, yikes, I do not know. Yeah, cats, that's a good suggestion. Let's take our time. Gonsberg. Interesting. Oh, that sign was gone. I was hoping to read that. Hmm. I don't know. I really don't know. Can't tell. I'm trying to see. I'm trying to look at where the car's steering wheels are, because maybe someone was just driving on the wrong side of the road? Briefly. Uh, yeah, Christopher likes saying squiggly languages. Drives him nuts. I just don't love when I can't figure out which one it is. Cause that's Thai was such a good suggestion. Oh 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 oh, is that that Cambodia? Cambodia? Right? Right? Did anyone else see that? The Cambodian flag? Right? There's got to be one. There we go. In there. Cambodia, right? Okay, yep. Cats is saying Cambodia. That's a Cambodian flag. Cool. Anyone object to Cambodia? Because I think that's pretty solid. I think we've got it. Uh, not seeing it anywhere else. Christopher likes saying, yep. Let's do it. That's not Cambodia. This is Cambodia. Cool. 321. Random road. Love it. All right. Let's head down. Odin Hammerfist is saying, pretty sure this is Hoth. 
Yep, definitely, uh, definitely the snow planet with the rebel base. Uh, trying to pick up a language. Cormorgant. Vaguely German. Let's see these up here. Uh, that's French. These are French signs, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, these are... That's the French style. I believe. I know they're in French, but I'm pretty confident that's the French style. Yep, Christopher likes saying French signs, Cat saying French signs, let's do France. Cool. Is that Brittany? Yeah. Uh, I'll tired saying Belgium, thought the other signs said a Dutch sounding word. Uh, I, 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 I can see where you're coming from with that, but it's too late. <laughs> I already did France. Uh, that's Swiss, not Swiss, Swedish. The SW's got me. Yeah, that sounds Swedish. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly, cats. It's French signs. Once once you realize what the French signs look like, you, you kind of notice they are pretty distinct. They, they look like, you know, normal signs, but... Once you know, you can't unsee it. I, I think we're stuck in this parking lot. But I'm pretty sure it's a Swedish parking lot. Nope, we're out. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is Sweden. Yeah, Saab and Volvos. <laughs> uh. Yeah, and, any objections to Sweden? It's going to... Go ahead and do it. Yeah, this... This is Sweden. Let's come read this sign. Yeah. Odin Hammerfest, you're half Swede. Nice. Any chance you can read this and tell us for sure if it's Sweden? Freeze out, you're saying you think you've been here. It'd be very helpful. And Katz is going to Sweden in May. Um, that'll be cool. Sweden's somewhere I've always wanted to go, but I've never made the time to go see it. Because it's just... It's so close to so many other things, and similar-ish enough to the so many other things. Yeah, Odin Hammerfest cannot read Swedish. Uh, okay, I didn't see the dot .se. We're good then. It'll tire you a twenty-hour layover. I didn't know Stockholm was a like a a hub. I've never seen a flight with a with a Sweden layover. Uh, okay, your your great aunt spoke Swedish. Um, yeah, thank you all for noting for noticing the dot .se. I straight up did not see that um you check for volvos you'll know for sure all right let's look dustman security oslo to denmark via train ah gotcha that's cool that sounds fun that that's that's totally different that's a completely different experience that sounds awesome um, this is screaming Finland. If other, uh, yeah, Finlayson Baltic. It also just looks like Finnish. Um, yeah, Freeze Light saying Ar Arlanda Airport is huge. I didn't know the name of the, uh, the Stockholm Airport. That's not one of the ones that, uh, you got like Schopel, Heathrow. Charles de Gaulle, the ones that you don't even need the city, you just say the airport name. Not familiar with the uh, the name of Stockholm's. Oh, 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 okay. 
Katz and Ethan Bruja are both saying ST for Estonia. I can see that. They're both uh, they're similar languages. Katz is saying send Ethiopia. Uh, okay, ST also means east. Okay. The chat seems somewhat divided. Um, hmm. I'm going to read the sign again. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I'm pretty sure Estonia does have coverage for Zeit. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm going to agree with Katz. Let's look for more definitive clues. Like, maybe this. Uh, no. Nothing, nothing jumping out. Yeah. Odin Hammerfist saying Scandinavian lands are tranquil. Very much so. They seem very nice. It's... I could be convinced this is Estonia because the words didn't look just insane. It looked a little more... Uh, it just looked a little more familiar. Whereas normally Finnish is like... Blah, 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 blah. I, I feel like I could sound out the words that were on this sign. I don't think I can do that with Finnish. Um, yeah, yeah, and Freezeite's saying the same thing in the chat right now. Like, I, I, I can pronounce... Other than the last one, I can pronounce these. Uh... No. Yeah, I, I, I like Estonia. Keep going a bit. What happens if we go this way? Here we go. Oh. Yeah, maybe that wasn't so helpful. Uh, yeah, yeah, Frizite, they are related languages. They're very similar languages, but I do feel like I can't even read Finnish, usually. Uh, Ill Tired saying, can we go and look for truck signage? Uh, what do you mean? Uh... No, I'm not going on the dirt road. Ethan Bruas saying it was in Estonia, Finland earlier this month. You were in Estonia, Finland earlier this month, and the language looks more Estonian than Finnish. I like that. That is very helpful. Uh. Oh wait, wait, wait. You're kidding me. Okay, so we have a country code there. <laughs> Um, that looks more like an E than an F. Um, okay, I'll tired saying, looking for anything that may be on the trucks, loading docks, looking for clues on the cars. It didn't seem like there was really any, honestly. Just looking around in there. Uh, okay. Katz is saying, Eastern Finnish is Itan, and dot .ee -E is Estonia. This looks like dot .ee. -E. I'm happy to go with Estonia at this point. Uh, if other people are down for that. So. Let me know if you. Want me to keep looking. Otherwise I think we're good to send it. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Katz is saying. Yeah. Yep. Everyone's everyone seems to be agreeing. This looks wait, this is actually pretty helpful. 
Yeah, that's <laughs> that's literally Talin. Okay, cool. Well, find that as we've kind of decided it's Estonia. So, oh, what? Nope. Um, okay. Cool. Well. Kind of a shot in the dark here. Oh, no, no, no. Left side of the road. I was going to say, what do people think about Macau? But Macau doesn't have... That would be Trekker. And that's English right there. And, uh, I'm confused. Uh, th there's just so much happening that my brain is not computing. Oh, Singapore. That's a good one. It's a good one, cats. Freezeite saying Taiwan. Well, let's... We can find out about Singapore really quick. Let's just look for a street sign. Uh, .hk, Hong Kong. Yeah, Damien PG saying Hong Kong. I didn't know there was coverage like this in Hong Kong. Um, it definitely makes sense, though. It's, yeah, China Mobile. Hong Kong absolutely makes the most sense. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I missed the other, I missed all the other Hong Kong messages. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay, Ill Tired, I didn't know you spoke Mandarin. That's incredibly helpful if we need that again at some point. Uh, yeah, everyone's saying it. So let's, let's do it. It's probably just China, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Cool. There we go. 325. Easy one. Yeah. That was... If you dropped me there in real life, I would have thought Hong Kong, but because I didn't know... I didn't know they had, like, actual official coverage. That's what threw me off. That's why I was so just confused. Um... Yeah, Damien, Damien PG is saying you notice because of the taxis. What was, do they have a specific taxi or did it say Hong Kong? Like, would you uh, would you see on the taxis? And Ill Tired saying you studied abroad in Beijing. That sounds amazing. That sounds really cool. It's cool when people go to like really out there abroad locations. It's, I'd love to go to Beijing. Um, I can't read that. Okay, green taxis. That's helpful. Specific model and color, okay. Um, this is kind of like a Scandinavian language? Is this Finnish? Uh, Freezeite saying Sweden? Whoop. Come on, let's click. Come on, come on. Keep going. Um, uh, I don't know. There we go. Dot fi. Nice. Yeah, Freeze Ice syllables looking finish. I was about to ask if Ethan Bruja is still out there to let us know if this looks like finish. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we saw dot fi. Are we good with that? Because that's, that's good enough for me. Looks Finnish. Had the Finnish web domain. I think we are good. Chris for like saying Baltic language. Oh, well that's gone. Uh, yeah, Freezeite saying send. I'm down to send it. Anyone else down? Uh, I feel like we're leaving the town now, but I don't think it's too much of an issue. Okay, yep. We've got another yes. Damien. So I'm doing it. Finland. Let's go. Awesome. And Christopher Lex Hansen now too. All right. We're doing well. This is looking Italian. And EU plates could also be um, 
what's the what's the thing I'm think what am I thinking of? Balkan. That's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> go to Russia so we can see drunks passed out on the street. I would love to go to Russia, but there's an issue with that right now. Uh yeah, would absolutely love to. When the war's over. Uh nothing from the plate. Nothing from the bins. Hmm. Got a, I guess a beware of dog sign. Uh, it's feeling more Baltic than it is Italy. Oh, this will be good. House brand. That's, that's throwing me off. What? <sighs> yeah, I don't know what this. I mean, I'm, I imagine this means market, but the rest, no idea. Yeah, Christopher Like would love to ride the train across Siberia. I, I would love to do that. That's that was on my bucket list in high school. But uh, times changed. Oh, was that Cyrillic? Let's go back. Um. Ill tired saying you went on you went ten years ago on vacation, very scary. It's essentially still the Soviet Union under the guise of democracy. That's interesting. That's I mean what, what like what specifically was scary about it? Like it just felt dangerous. Cause I remember all the the media around the Russia World Cup in twenty eighteen was like, Oh, Russia's misunderstood, it's actually safe and everyone's really friendly and um Okay, but yeah, I see what you're saying now, Freezeite, with the P being R, and that just being market. Uh, I do like Macedonia. Very much like Macedonia, or Bulgaria. Let's head down this hill. Uh, they don't have Tex-Mex, so you're out, huh? Odin Hammerfist. I completely agree with you, honestly. Love Mexican food. That's, uh... I don't know if I said it on here. I mentioned it to somebody in the past few weeks, but my favorite restaurant in Argentina is a Mexican place. <laughs> I have Mexican food everywhere. I had Mexican food for dinner the last two days, actually. Um, still nothing. What's this? There we go. <laughs> Macedonia. It's like a, a soccer scarf. Hegelian dialectic controls the world. Uh, yeah, I have no idea what you're saying, Odin Hammerfist. No idea. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm good with Macedonia. If others are. Yep, yep, North Macedonia. Gotta remember it's North Macedonia, not Macedonia anymore. Lucky spot, nice. Yep, that was... That was complete luck. Uh, unsafe. Saw people stop by, stop by papers. Always have to watch your back. Had someone warn you not to say you were from the U.S. Rash of American beatings at the time. That's... Jeez. That's insane. That's not how I thought it was. I just assumed it was a somewhat misunderstood country by the West. Not, not in the whole like foreign policy way that gets pushed in some media circles but I mean in terms of like on the ground what, what being there is like um, yeah free sites and say you're Canadian uh, so Korea right we've got Korean uh, yeah South Korea close enough to the Quebec border to count right uh yeah, okay, I think we're all good with Korea. Yep. Yeah, I mean, Russians aren't going to notice the difference between a Canadian and an American, especially, like, the, the very general accent. As long as you're not from, like, middle of nowhere and you, you sound like... Uh, you either sound really southern U.S. or very, like... 
Oh, hey there. No one's gonna, no one's gonna notice. No one's gonna notice anywhere, especially not Russia. Um, German school. So that makes me think Chile. That mountain also makes me think Chile. Um, yeah, cats is uh, Asian Canadian. Oh, Korea or LA. That's a very good point, Freezeite. Um, yeah, too many cars and people to be North Korea. Definitely South America would agree. Damien, Freezeite saying Argentina. Um, I could see it being Argentina. Uh, looking at the plates. They look like Chilean plates. It's the thing. Yeah, Argentina if German school. <laughs> there is actually a huge um, German community in Chile, like, well, around Puerto Montt, uh, where I was in those videos. There were, there were German flags everywhere, and, like, German-Chilean flags crossed together. Uh, and lots of uh, of restaurants with German names. Very interesting. Uh, and, and that immigration predates the, the touchy immigration. Um, yeah, Pare. No, I guess we can't go in there. <laughs> yeah, Freeze Freezeite spirit country of Uruguay. Um, Arenda. No country code. Yeah, yeah, more you know. Exactly, I'll tire it is. Um, there was one time. There's the Chilean flag. Oh, that's the Colo Colo logo. The team in uh, Conception. Conception. Concep I can't say that without sounding French. Uh, yeah, I mean, are people good with Chile? We've got San Luis. Um, Damien saying, really bad at guessing the actual country, but by some knowledge of cars, you can guess the area. That's honestly more impressive. That, that's like a crazy specific knowledge to have. Um, yeah, if people go with Chile, we can go ahead and do that. .cl, yeah. It's interesting with the, the German thing. There was one time, I was at a, a cafe in uh, Viña del Mar in Chile, and the, the woman who served my friend and I was asking us where we're from. We're like, oh, yeah, we're from the U.S. And she was saying, um, oh, I love the U.S. We're like a mini U.S. here. Like, the U.S. helped us defeat communism. And, uh, you know, you guys helped us bring in Pinochet. And, you know, Pinochet was... A lot of people think Pinochet was bad, but he did a lot of good for our country. And it was just very interesting to hear this woman think that you know because we were american that we were like yeah pinochet he had death death squads roaming the country we love him um yeah that's a that's my fun antidote oh oh i thought of that because uh the woman said she was like first or second generation german she still spoke german um yeah that's why i thought of that <laughs> Uh, Santiago. I mean, we saw the country code and the Chilean flag. Does anyone object to Chile? <laughs> yeah, he held up the kidnapping industries, big up kidnappers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what a guy. Uh, okay, yeah, cool, we're good for Chile. Oh, no, yeah, Southern Santiago. Cool. 329. We are chillin'. Yeah, you saw Santiago on the street sign, too. That's I wasn't sure if it was just a, a red herring, like, earlier with Lagos Avenue, and we were in Nigeria, uh, Ghana. Uh, EU plate. Mediterranean vibe. Uh Hmm Okay I can't read that Does anyone else know how to Read that? 
Oh, very good point, Altired. It was a uh, detour sign. That didn't click for me. It's a very good point. Hmm. So I'm feeling Balkan. Cool, fresh. Yep, I agree, cats. Sounds like a Balkan language. Tobacco press. Uh, a little shop. Some words. Um, yeah, I don't know. Stop sign. What do people think about Croatia? Okay, Ethan Brew has saying Serbia. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll tire D with a line through it. What is that unique to? Um, so I don't think it's Serbia because Serbia is dual script, but we also haven't seen enough language yet. Pekara. Uh, Frizite saying leaning Croatia or Montenegro. D with the line is Serbian DJ. Okay. That's big. Um, okay. Could be wrong, though. Hmm. W Dig is in chat. Good to see you. We are currently... Well, we believe we're in the Balkans. Um, oop. Not wanting to respond to my clicks. Freezeite saying we had Pekara before in Serbia. Yeah, I do remember that. Um, was that not Romania? I remember having it before, and uh, that's an EU flag, so probably. N there we go, Montenegro. That would make sense for there being a Serbian letter here. Um, anyone object to Montenegro? It pretty much. I mean, it says it. <laughs> yep, yep, everyone's on board. Cool. Let me just... Whoop. And awesome. All right, 3.30. Doing well. This is interesting. It's like my go-to adjective. Um... Kilometers. I'm kind of thrown. Um, uh, yep, I'm still thrown. Uh, okay, Iltar saying EU flag, do chip copyright in the future if you think it's Croatia. Recent entry into EU. That's a very good point. Thank you for that. Um,. Yeah, no Kazakhstan yet, but fingers crossed we don't get it. I just I don't know how to how to react to that. Yeah, I don't know how to find. I don't know how to figure out if it's Kazakhstan yet. Uh, sun to the south. Um, okay, everyone's typing real fast. Looks Greek without any text. I vaguely agree. Yeah. Um, okay, people are saying Croatia. Croatia. Uh, Kirk has a national park in Hungary. Leaning Slovenia, Scandinavian. Okay, so we are, we're all over the place. Cool. Well, that says Zagreb, so I feel like Croatia is uh, kind of on the money. Yeah, Zagreb and Split. We're in Croatia. Anyone disagree? This is cool. I like that. Yep, yep. We're seeing Croatia come in. Let's do it. This looks really cool. Send. Awesome. 331. Damien saying you're lost. Well, oh, New Zealand. Uh, yeah. English. Where are the steering wheels? Yep. Yeah. Left-hand drive. I mean, we're in New Zealand, right? 
<laughs> yep, Katz is saying it. Christopher likes saying cool road. That was a very cool road. That's uh, I do want to go to Croatia at some point, and that, that definitely helped me uh, with, you know, pushing me to do that. Very cool. Yeah, I, I think we're all in agreement this is New Zealand. We don't need to look any further. Cool. Is that Christchurch? Nice. 332, we got a nice easy one. Yeah, Kat's saying, love to go to Croatia too. That's, uh, I mean, you can do it on your way back from, um, Sweden. It's, it, same continent. Uh, also Colombia, right? Um, yeah, Ethan Bruhas saying Croatia is a very beautiful place to visit. Ill tired saying, eyeing October for Croatia, less crowded and warm ocean still. Nice. That's going to be great. I don't know the, um, yeah, Christopher Lake saying Colombia. Christopher Lake who lived in Colombia saying Colombia carries some clout. Um, but yeah, I, I, I like going to Europe on the, the non peak months. Um, yep, Damien saying, dare I say Colombia? Because it's, it's just, Europe gets so crowded in the summer with uh, North Americans and just, it, it, it's it's too much in the summer. <laughs> it's insane. Um, went to Dubrovnik October last year. Still very busy. Oh, okay. Might be because it's, it's always busy. Gotcha. Come on, come on, click, click. Um, I mean, does anyone object to Colombia? This, it, it's, it's totally Colombia. Colombian plates, Spanish, uh, Colombian scenery. Uh, Damon asking, is there any European in the chat? Uh, let's read this. Yeah, danger. Yeah, that's just. Yeah, yeah, I'm comfortable with it being Colombia. That's fully comfortable with that. Um, last two weeks of October, first three November is when you try going back to the EU. No crowds. Yeah, that sounds perfect. I, I personally, just from my experience, would try to shoot for like September, because I feel like it's still it's still hot enough and it's not quite creeping into fall yet. Yeah, not freezing cold. Um, yeah. Does anyone object to Colombia because it that you know, no no one's saying send, but I mean, it's Colombia. And I'm also, the, the rule is I'm not really supposed to guess if you all aren't on board. <laughs> because that's, that's how the streak ends uh, well before 3.32. <laughs> Always travel back on Thanksgiving Day, no crowd at the airport, send Columbia. Yeah, yeah, I'll tired saying you trust Christopher from living there. There we go. Yeah, thanks... I, I like traveling on the I, I like traveling on holidays that I personally don't care about because it's like it's like cheat codes and Thanksgiving's a good one um but I mean I feel like at that point in the year it gets dark too early like, I remember being uh in Scotland one Thanksgiving as a kid and the sun starting to set at like 3.45 in the afternoon and, and just being like you know, I hate this. <laughs> uh, Columbia infrastructure is top notch compared to most of South America. I didn't know that. I wouldn't assume so, given the the issues for you know, several decades. Um, also, there's a lot of like blue and yellow. I feel like this is Ukraine, but also it could just be a lot of blue and yellow. Yeah, Christopher likes saying Ukraine. Like traveling on. 
should season two october november end of january february yeah that was honestly when i uh when i went to argentina last february that was that was absolutely perfect it was it was it was pretty hot it was like 90 degrees each day of like you know 35 fahrenheit ish that's a that's a rough conversion um or wait sorry 35 celsius 95 or 90 something fahrenheit you you all know what i'm saying i'm talking too much about temperature conversion also this is ukraine um and that that was like perfect it was people from all over the world everyone's hanging out by the pool it was just such a fun time um like february not many people in the states or north america really are traveling but it, it it was perfect if you ever find yourself with a week in the winter in the northern hemisphere go down to go down to the southern hemisphere and have yourself a, a warm weather vacation that was amazing we're all good with ukraine right <laughs> like christopher like said it cat said it anyone object that that's more what i'm looking for uh, Damien PG saying you'd like to visit the USA or Canada. You've never been abroad. Uh, what country are you in, Damien? I noticed you spelled color with a U earlier. I figured uh, you were not in the U.S. at least. Freezeite saying send UK, uh, and I'm assuming that means Ukraine rather than United Kingdom. So let's do it. We got three people agreeing. We got it. Yeah, it'll tired. No objections. Carnival 2025 in Rio. I, phew, Carnival would be amazing. That would be next level. Oh, I would love to do that. I don't think I have the energy for it, honestly. Uh, okay, Damien, Netherlands. That's cool. That's, uh, haven't spent a lot of time in the Netherlands, only a few days, but it's a, it's a nice country. You all, uh, you figured out a lot of things about urban design. Decades ahead of us here. Um, okay, EU plate. Presides saying Italy. I like Italy. Yeah. Did I ever watch the video of Ball and Bankrupt and the Daring Gap? No, I didn't, and I, I guarantee I still have the sticky note on my desk where I wrote to watch it. I, I guarantee it, that that sticky note is still... Yep, yep, right here. I'm gonna block what that says, that this camera. This says BB Darian. Didn't watch it. <laughs> um, Spain, Santander Bank, Ring a Bell. Um, should it? Uh, Avenida de Cantabria? I like Italy. Um, yeah, Damien, San France or Italy. Should be a quick one to figure out. I mean, great. Well, that's in English. <laughs> hmm. Maybe these ads will be in a local language. Padre Manini, that, that's Italian. It says D, it's Spain, northern Spain. Okay. Well, I get, yeah, this could also be Spanish. <laughs> um, yeah, you start to recognize the major name banks as you travel in GeoGuess. Also is an S9, so old coverage. Gotcha. Yeah, no Santander is Spanish, but I've seen it in many places, so I wasn't sure about uh, what it really meant for us. Yeah, Freezeite saying Spain. Um, I mean, so the bus stop back there, it looks like it had a, a local map where the water was to the south. And you were saying, who was saying northern Spain? Um, oh. Uh, uh, Santander. Spain? 
uh, I, I'm a little thrown. <laughs> I don't, I don't really know what to say. <laughs> yeah, Frizzite saying send. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm good with Spain at this point. Does anyone object? Christopher likes saying España. That's two people. Let's do it. Oop, come on, click on it. Click on it. Cats is saying that's Spanish. Yep. Agree. Uh, yep. Santander, Spain. That's interesting. So, yeah. Santander Bank in Santander, Spain. That's fun. Okay, great. I'm calling it now Finland. This is Finland. Um, just gonna click for a while. Yep, ill tired saying Finland. Keep on going. Yep, Frizite. <laughs> also thinking Finland. True cats could be Sweden. Keep on moving. Very tall trees. Indeed, Christopher like. Come on, come on, keep going, keep going. Come on. It's it's not wanting to click too far ahead. It's it's actually clicking me backwards, so let's get up here. Here we go. This will be good. Um, yeah, this is uh, this is Finland, right? Oh, it looks kind of Swedish. Uh, what are people thinking with this? I don't want to click thirteen kilometers to that way. I'm nine kilometers that way. W dig, saying definitely Finland. I'm happy to go with that. I'm gonna look see if Finland has the the a with the yeah yeah it does okay cool everyone's everyone's on the same page let's do it I was concerned about the a with the two dots but it, pardon me that was a really weird burp but seeing that they do have it in Finland uh made me totally down for that okay Eastern Europe Let's look at the plate. Not an EU plate on that car. Not an EU plate on that car. Not on that one either. There we go. We got some Cyrillic. Um, seven country code. Anyone know what the seven country code is? That could be... That, that could just... Do it for us right now. Damien is saying Russia. Iltired saying Russia. Look like a Trabant. I don't know what a Trabant is, but I'll take your word for it. Freezeite saying you want to go to that Christmas town in Finland someday. I don't actually know what you're referring to. Um. A random like side thing with Christmas. I was looking at. For, for, for weird, like, not relevant reason, I was looking at TripAdvisor for Cologne in Germany uh, the other day, last week, and it was, like, eight of the ten top things were all Christmas markets. I was like, wow, looks like an amazing place to go at Christmas, but it must suck the rest of the year if that's it. Uh, Trabant is a car, Santa Claus Village in Rovem Rovanemi. I don't think Cats has been there. Cats has been to many places. Um, blue and yellow. Also saw a lot of. Definitely Russia. Terrible old car that kept falling apart. Used as a teaching point when discussing Soviet industry and problems with uh, communism industrial manufacturing. Best Christmas markets in Nuremberg. Okay. Keep that in mind. I'm ever in Germany in the winter. Uh, I mean, this, that's a Russian ruble, is it not? 
Anyone object to uh, the blue and yellow? I don't like it. But they're not Ukrainian plates. Um, yeah, I mean, are people good with Russia? I'm happy to send Russia. If that's what people think. Uh, okay, Freezeite saying send Russia. Damien saying send Russia. That's two people. Let's do it. Awesome. Ooh. Ooh. Very far south. Cat's saying you can try to ride the overnight Santa Claus Express to get to the Christmas town. That's funny. I didn't know. That. <laughs> what, what is the Santa Claus Express? Cats. Is that like a. Is it a bus or a train? <laughs> okay, Christopher likes saying plus seven is Russia. That's good to know. Someone mentioned that to me during the week. They said, you need to learn country codes. It'll make it a lot easier. And I was like, yeah, I know, but at the same time, that's that's too much information to retain. <laughs> um, B.O. Contra. It's an overnight train from Helsinki to Rovaniemi. That's not bad. That's pretty solid. I'd, uh, I'd love to know what the Christmas town looks like so I can properly gauge if that's worth it. <laughs> but I mean, seems like Freezeite's down for it. A bit of a blue and yellow. Looks kind of orthodox, but I can't tell. Flagpole's no flag. Cats sing Italy. Christopher like talking about the the ice hotel in Finland. And potentially seeing the Northern Lights. Good point, all tired. Um, I feel like Northern Lights are definite like bucket list have to see in your life. Like if you're someone who who does travel around and goes to a lot of places, it's somewhere you absolutely have to go before you die. Um Okay, Ethan Bruhaus saying the ice hotel might be Sweden. Uh, it's a little Italian town. A Christmas themed village that passes through the Arctic Circle, but yeah, didn't see the northern lights, it's cloudy. Gotcha. Oh, come on. Come on, just have a language somewhere. Uh, just show Italian somewhere and we can just. Click on Italy and be done. Or somewhere and be done. Um, nope. Cool. You saw the Northern Lights when you went to the Yukon during the Pacific. And you also... <laughs> Cats, you saw them from... If you mentioned Calg... Oh, that's not good. Oh, no, wait. Wait, is that is that Cyrillic or Greek? That's an epsilon. Is that Greek? They don't use epsilon in Cyrillic, right? Ah, uh, okay. Everyone's thinking. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We're all good. Greek, cool. Let's do it. Awesome. <laughs> Very close to the North Macedonian border. All right, middle of nowhere. It looks like Northwest Europe. Hmm. Interesting. Kind of looks French-ish. Never mind. I knew, I, I, as I started saying that, I was like, no, I'm going to find something that makes me look like an idiot for saying that as soon as I say it. Um, does that look like the Icelandic O with the, the little accent on top? Or is that, um, Freezeite saying Belgium looking houses, Damien saying Germany, El Tired saying 4-6 area code. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know. Oh, here we go. Here we go. That's more German than, um, that's interesting. Okay, Cass is saying, oh, it's just grass covering the O. Yeah, yeah, Altired. It, it was just, it was just a number that was part of the, the phone number. It wasn't a plus four six. Yeah, I, I gathered. Um, we've got the, the O with the line through it, which is usually Denmark. Um, we've also established that Norway has it, but, um... This isn't Norway. <laughs> uh, w Dig saying thinking Danish. Freezeite saying Norway. Katz is saying Denmark or Norway. So my thinking on why it's not Norway is that it's somewhat flat. Like there are no clear mountains out in the distance. Um, obviously, you know, it's not entirely flat, but it's flatter than... I'd expect Norway to be, but also I'd like to read these signs. Okay, well, that's not helpful. Um, Vage is a big clue for Denmark. Okay. I didn't see that anywhere, but I'll take your word for it. Uh, bus stop. Alling. I'm, I'm going to assume... Vilkman till Alling is welcome to Alling, which could be uh, I'm not gonna scroll around looking for it uh, Where the kids crossing sign was I'm Trying to look at it That was the sign right oh like in street names uh, veg's way, okay Probably not pronounced veg, but I mean, yeah, I, I think we're good. Anyone object to Denmark? Ooh, let's look at these. Uh, Rye, another one, Lavin Street, definitely not Street. You, you get it. Got some cows. Freezeite saying send. Anyone agree? Nice little brick house here. We got the bins. Um. Damien's saying everything except name seems German to you. Christopher likes saying send. I mean, uh, German doesn't really have the O that we saw is the thing. That's that's the big clue for me. Um, here we go, deer. Freezeite's saying somewhere in Jutland. Uh... I have I have two people agreeing on Denmark and I'm pretty sure it is so let's do it. Nice. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I got concerned for a second when it did the whole like explode out because Greenland is part of Denmark. Oh yeah, yeah, Greenland would have used the uh the B that makes the double S sound. Um Gotcha, Damien missed the the weird O. So this is Southeast Asia. Uh, this has the potential to be a rough one. Yeah, this very much has the potential to be a rough one. Cats agrees, Southeast Asia. Uh, slightly bigger road. Yeah, let's go this way. Where's the sun? Um, can't really tell. I, I feel like that's to the north. Oop. 
Okay. Thought it froze for a second. Um, Freezeite's saying getting Mexico vibes. Christopher likes saying here we go. Yep, exactly. Love to be able to go onto this person's land and check things out. All right. Here we go, here we go. Um, okay, let's go back. Let's try to intersect with this car. There we go. Okay, this looks like Ty. And it's... That looks like the wheel is on the right side, right? Um... Damien saying spot a car, you know if it's Mexican or Asian only. Um, Freeze I'd say never mind. I, I, it looks like this. Oh, and it's passing on the left side. So yeah, I, I think this is left hand drive, which makes it likely Thailand. Yeah, Katz is saying looks Thai. Um, let's go up a little further here. Can't read that. Also, it's not wanting to respond to my clicks, which is fun. There we go. Got that back. Can we go over there and read that? No. All right. Could it be Sri Lanka? I don't think so. I think the language... I don't think the language is Sri Lankan. Also, Thai flag. Just saw that. Um, yeah, I can't read any of that. But Thai flag. That's that's probably the best we'll get, honestly. <laughs> um, I'm happy to go for Thailand if, if others are down for that. Freezeite saying, let's go Thai. Anyone else agree? Yep, yep, Cats and W Digger saying it. Let's do it. Awesome. Near the Laotian border. Oof, pardon me. Yep, Christopher likes saying Thailand. Okay. There we go. Spanish. Uh, we had a. Need, I'd need a break from from eastern europe like I, I missed the week where it was just like half of it was latin america and it was just figuring out which latin american country we were in i liked that week uh yeah damien saying yep thailand on the last one um oh wait colombian plate nice uh we'll look around a bit yeah yeah freeze out saying that was fun it was a good week. We got so many of the, like, the unique differences between each of the, the Latin American countries down that week. And then we just haven't gotten much since. Um, but yeah, I mean, Colombian plates, it's pretty flat, so probably in the north. Um... Santa Barbara. Hmm. If I were a, if our Colombian expert, there is. Where in Colombia? Uh, I don't know, but I want to guess the north. But all we need to know is Colombia. Yeah, yeah, Freeze Then we got some super hard ones in the desert. In Peru. And it's... It is crazy to think that we have gotten to 340 consecutive countries without getting one wrong. Especially last week's Peru one. One of the, like, three Latin American ones we got last week. Arepas is Colombian food? Okay. Anyone object to Colombia? 
I am fully down for it. That's Columbia, all you need is the, the plate. Um, yeah. Yeah, Freeze Eye, that one was nuts. It was crazy. I, I fully thought that was the end. I, I thought the streak was done. There we go, Columbia. Um, Palmeira. Yep, Damien agrees. That's two people. We are good. Awesome. Okay, outside of Kali. Next round. Oh, we at 341. Doing well. This kind of looks like Panama. I think this is Panama. Um, the, yeah, the, the cycling across Panama video was supposed to, obviously before, you know, <laughs> things happened, uh, was supposed to go through an area that looked just like this. Uh, okay, we're seeing Dominican Republic. Oh, yep. There we go. Dominican flag. Yeah. Uh, Metro, yep, Dominican flag again. So yeah, yeah, I was wrong with Panama. Yep, Dominican flag again. Yep, all right, well, I mean, looks like we're good with that. Anyone disagree? Yep, Kat's saying it, Christopher likes saying it. I think we're good. Yep, flag. Yeah. Always flags in the Dominican Republic. That is a good point, Frieza. We hadn't seen the Dominican Republic in a while. I didn't even notice the 809 area code. Christopher, like, that's a good spot. What? What is that? One zone. Also, it said private back there just missing the e and i think that's danish i think we've seen that in denmark before uh it's, there's probably a few languages that have that but and and also this tells me it's not denmark let's look at the side of this van come on okay we're not really getting much there uh yeah yeah completely agree with you christopher like no idea what that face is it's weird <laughs> That's just unsettling. <laughs> uh, yeah, I... Okay, Freezeite saying bet it's Swiss. Yep, Swiss. Oh, wait, wait. Street sign. Yeah. Quillenstrasse. That's weird that they use the double S rather than the... the B-looking thing. Um, okay, yeah, Damien making a good point, probably means there's kids at play, uh, this is German, Freezeite saying it's Swiss, 100% sure, I do not disagree with you, I, oh, that's a big leg, that'd be, like Geneva? Switzerland and Liechtenstein used the double S, not the B looking one. Okay, that's that's pretty rock solid evidence. Um Yeah, the the double S kinda kinda solidifies it. And there we go. Swiss flag. Anyone object to Switzerland? Uh, come on. You know, react to my clicking. Pinocchio. Yep, yep, W Digging Cats agree. We're good. Awesome. Yep, oh wow. Very close to looking at the sign. What's that? That's, uh, it's not Lake Geneva. I don't know. Obersee, Bodensee? Don't know the German word for lake. 
Cool. Cool. There we go. Probably Nigeria. Um, Kat's saying, is there coverage in Liechtenstein? I honestly don't know. I feel like no, just given we've never gotten it. Lake Constance. Okay, thank you, Freezeite. Um, I mean, Nigeria, right? Follow car? Jet like the game is doing season in Switzerland right now. I've seen the thumbnails pop up on my YouTube that they're doing something, and I keep meaning to watch, but I never end up having the time. I, I've only been going on YouTube recently to put on music, and then I get annoyed at the ads between songs and eventually switch to Spotify. <laughs> um, city of... I, I was a refugee or refugee... Uh, yeah, Nigeria, Abuja's on the sign too. Slims, welcome back. Yes, there were no incidents in your absence. Yeah, yeah, everyone seems to be on board with Nigeria. Let's send it. Cool. Yep, near Abuja. 344. That's 30 for today. Uh... If on Android or smart TV, sideload smart U smart tube TV to bypass ads on YouTube. Okay. See, the thing is, I, I can't... As as someone who uploads to YouTube, I, I can't do... Um, uh, Norwalk Clamp now. Okay, this is probably the US or Canada. Um, yeah, I can't bring myself to do anything to block the ads because... I make money off YouTube ads, so it just doesn't feel right. So I just I, I tough it out until I've heard the same ad too many times, and I just have to switch to something else. Um, it looks very U.S. Slim, you're saying uh, you're in a recording session all day, and your brain is melted. So take everything you say with a grain of salt. Gotcha. All good. Um. Connecticut, Norwalk, USA. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. And the speed limit is in miles per hour, not kilometers, so we're in the US. Christopher Like, yeah, YouTube Premium, so ads are non-existent. I need to get that. I, I had the trial at one point. It probably would be good to, to get it. I need to... Uh, I need to figure out I need to figure out a budget and just I have no idea how much it even costs um yeah everyone's saying US let's just do it it doesn't really matter where we are in the US is that what Iowa yeah outside of Des Moines uh Damien saying using a legal app that blocks ads and sponsors automatically <laughs> uh yeah Slim's saying it's not Connecticut that was correct uh, number of trucks go with the U.S., yep. YouTube Premium. YouTube Premium is so worth it. It's 14 bucks. Is it 14 bucks a month? That's a lot. This is French. Too hilly to be Belgium. Not mountainous enough to be Switzerland. I would assume it's France. And we can't go that way. Um, yeah, you'll tire. Just saw the Norwalk sign and know the town in Connecticut. Gotcha. Yeah, Christopher, like, that's what I'm afraid of, is, is, like, having YouTube Premium and not being able to go back to regular YouTube. That's how I got, that's how I got into Spotify Premium. Years and years ago. Um, it's called YouTube Revanced. Pretty popular, actually. Okay. France, not Quebec. Yeah, yeah, I, I figured it wasn't Quebec. Um... Yeah, it, it it might be worth it, but it's like I, I I I I don't watch YouTube enough is the problem, and I know that's wild to say as someone who uploads to YouTube, but I just at least recently I haven't been watching it a lot. I've just been I've been so busy that I just. I'll throw it on while I'm making dinner. And... Meh. The, the, at least watching actual videos, not music. 
This is totally France, right? Uh, yeah, Kat's saying, use the ads, doesn't bother you anymore. See, I don't mind the ads, I just mind when I've seen the same ad 30 times in an hour. That's what kills me. Or if there's like a jingle in the ad, like I'm listening to a very specific genre of music, and then there's some catchy jingle that absolutely drives me insane that that's what gets me that's when i'm i'm absolutely like nope i gotta switch um yeah because for like saying worth every penny slim saying the bollards are weird um wait this is the way we came wasn't it yeah okay well gotta go back Bill tired saying that's how you discovered this channel watching youtube while making eating dinner Oh, well, I'm glad you. Uh, I'm glad you discovered it. Yeah, I appreciate you watching. I appreciate everyone watching. I went that way last time. Let's go this way. Cat is saying this could be Belgium. I just assumed Belgium was a bit more flat, like like the hills weren't there. Um. Oh, here we go. Highway. This will give us city signs. Let's. There we go. The jump onto the highway. I'm not. I'm ignoring anything on a, on a truck. Great. Um. I'm gonna get back up there. If premium's the only subscription you have. You deleted Hulu and used the money for that instead. Yeah, I, I, I can, I can get behind that. That's. I will. As much as I haven't been watching YouTube, I absolutely do not watch, like, movies or TV shows, at least right now. Um, yeah, Cats, you forgot when you discovered this channel. It might be a long time ago already. Yeah, it's, I mean, the, the large, the majority of uh, this channel's subscribers came in about... 11 months, uh, 10, 11 months ago. Um, it was the, there we go, back on. Milan, Geneva, oh, Lyon. I'm gonna go with France? I gotta, okay, I gotta catch up on the, the chat. Um, wouldn't get YouTube Premium yourself, especially when you have it for free, yeah. That's the slim saying the algorithm brought, brought you to the channel. Appreciate you being here. Uh, Belgium has red letters on the plates. Yep. Um, that's a good point. I forgot to look for that. So it seems to saying this has to be France. Sign up for Google Fi. It's your phone carrier. Get a free year of YouTube premium. That's pretty big. Uh, sign looks French. Bollard was weird. France. Yeah. Okay. I think we're all good on France. Weird Bollard, but France. Anyone object to that? give people a second to say you know wait a second for something else but I think we're good yeah okay we're good Christopher like you've Google Fi too good internationally too that's actually really big I need to address how awful my current provider no don't do that my current provider is internationally because that's that's been a recurring thing in a couple videos of just, like, not having the signal to figure out where I'm going. Um, that's happened so many times. I mean, you know, you've used it in about 15 countries, no issues at all. That's huge. I, I need to get on that. I need to figure that out. Uh, I'm tired. Loved Lyon better than Paris and taught English overseas one summer in Paris. That's, I've heard good things about Lyon. It's it's like French culture. You get you get the whole like oh this is a pretty building and it's like the urban, uh you know the the French city, um, without the like megapolis of Paris, uh, which seems cool. I like yeah yeah I like Norway. Um, Damien saying head out now. Yeah, freeze. I, I might I might have to do that. Also, this is um. Uh, it is 10 p.m., which is when we end the streams now. But 
we'll go to the end of this round because it should be quick. Um, yeah, Sleems is saying Norway as well. Um, Lille Chile Cafe with a what? With a Thai flag? Uh, I'm gonna ignore that. Look into e sims that work. Wait, could that have just been Norwegian? But yeah, I'm just I'm ignoring it. Look into e sims that work in whichever country region you're traveling to. I haven't heard of that. I've heard of getting you know like a sim card at the airport and you put it in your phone and um doing that whole thing, but I haven't heard of that. That's really good. I like that. So that's. The, the next time I leave the country... Uh, might not be the next time I leave the country. The next big thing I'm trying to do out of the country, I will likely have very limited signal, especially on my current plan. Um, but that's... That's in a bit. That's... Not... Not in the next few months. Uh, make sure phone is unlocked. ESIM... Source the best plans. ESIM saves you a lot of money. Ooh, Sweden. Sweden could be good. Um. Oh, we have the little O. The, the O with the line in it that we established is just Denmark and Norway. I like Norway. Um. Yeah, ne ne next time when I know I'm going to be leaving the country soon, I will make sure to ask and hear what you all recommend specifically. Try Google Fi for a month, best customer service too, okay. Um, yeah, W Diggs thinking Norway, Katz is thinking Norway, I'm thinking Norway. Uh, yep, dot N-O. Cool. Well, we saw that sign earlier and I didn't notice that. Any objections to Norway? Uh, I think we're pretty much good. I'm going to go ahead and pre-click it. Okay, we got line of road is Norway. Should be Norway. Yeah, everyone seems in agreement. Let's do it. Awesome. 347, and that is where we leave it for the night. That's uh, We started at 314. So what's that, 34 tonight? That's pretty good. Yeah, I mean... We are, we're trucking along. We're on our way to 400, probably not next week, but the week after that. We'll get it. And it's, oh, wait. I just noticed Sleem saying it's that far north. Whoa! That's wild. That's great. That's really cool. I wouldn't have thought that. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, good night, everybody. I'll be sure to check out. Um, I'm seeing Christopher like messaging and that... I need to check out the Bald and Bankrupt Darien Gap. I'm going to check out the eSims. Um, yeah. Good night, everyone. Good stream. Appreciate y'all watching, and I will see you next Sunday. Bye.